Buongiorno, buona gente. Good morning, good people. I'm Brother Mark Schenk, Provincial Minister of the Capuchin Province of St. Conrad, broadcasting to you from the 100,000-watt studios of Fraternidad San Antonio in Denver, Colorado. Good morning, good people is the greeting that St. Francis often used as he traveled about central Italy preaching to the people. It's also the name of a new series of daily reflections that the friars of the Capuchin province of St. Conrad are going to be sending out. Starting today, each Monday through Friday, we will email you a different video, audio, or written reflection done by a different friar of the province of St. Conrad. Though we are forced to be physically distant because of social distancing, we want to assure you that you are never far from our thoughts and prayers. Many people would have us believe that this current coronavirus is somehow a sign of God's punishment of the world, but we Franciscans tend to take a different view. We know that we have a loving, merciful God, and that he can make all things work together for our good. St. Francis taught us that neither material possessions nor fame will ever truly make us happy. We are most free when we possess nothing. We are happiest when we put ourselves into the hands, completely into the hands of a loving God. With the eyes of faith, we can see this as an opportunity to reevaluate life's priorities. We're learning to do without restaurants, without bars, without movies and without other forms of entertainment. Replacing these are the simple joys of spending time with family, cooking our own meals, and finding creative ways to entertain ourselves. With eyes of faith, we see the goodness, generosity, and self-sacrifice of so many people who are donating needed supplies, offering assistance to those most vulnerable of society, and staying on the front lines despite the risk to themselves. And by the way, for our listeners who have offered us any assistance in the past few weeks, please accept our sincere gratitude. So thank God for this golden opportunity to rediscover what is essential in our lives. We hope that all of our listeners are well, and we assure you of our prayers.